What is going on, everyone? What's near? Cadences? Botanical? Pog you, boys. Pog you. What's everyone up to? Saul, thank you for the host. What's up, brother? You ready to see your board get built? I just kind of threw you out there. And, but, uh, cool, eh, Papa? Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the stream. How are you today, my friends? Sushi, what's up? How is everyone today? How is everyone today? Save, good to see you. Good to see you in chat. What are you guys up to today? I got a Friday off. We're not shut down. My, my store's not shut down, but I got Friday off this week. So I'm streaming. Jack's Tastic. Jack's. I always say that wrong. Jack Static. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Thank you so much for that sub. How are you this beautiful Friday? I had to wake up this early this morning and go for a walk, dude. It was so fucking beautiful out. Took the boys for a walk. They're somewhere around here. You guys will probably see them sometime this stream. <laughs> Kool-Aid says, why do you keep following him, Say, What's going on? <laughs> it's okay, Nathan Kim does it too. Yeah, he caught that. I think that's what that's what started it for me, watching him. And then he says that. I don't know. I heard it somewhere, and then I started saying that. And then I read it when I tagged you on Instagram. I was like, what? <laughs> Jack Static, not Jack Tastic. <laughs> uh... You like this angle, huh? I changed it up from actually the the camera was on the other monitor over here, so it was getting that side of the room. But now I switched it. Boom! It's getting my all my bullshit over here. Got some TX cases down there, a row of fucking PCBs and plates and blah blah blah. Here's my boy. What are you doing, bud? Come here. Come here. Here's mouse. <sighs> Turn around, bud. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on now. Say hello. Look, look over here. Mouse. Mouse. Okay. All right. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I love you too, bud. Jesus. Ten months, guys. Ten months. Ten months, 110 pounds. <coughs> Romeo Bros. You guys are you guys are intertwined like twins. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, Botanical. He's a he's a large beast. Ten months and 110 pounds. He's supposed to hit like 130 or something or 140. So Yeah, big old boy. He's a American bully. So he has Pitt and Staffordshire and Bulldog, I think is what it is. I can never remember. He's big, though. He's thick. He's thick. Glad to see everyone in chat today, though. Hope everyone's had a good week so far and staying safe with all this crazy BS going on, you know, with the Kung Flu and all that. Hope everyone's doing good, being safe, staying inside, washing your fucking hands, all the goods. We'll switch this to the other camera here so you guys can see. Boom. Get that. There we go, Saul. There's your board, Saul. Actually, it's pretty cool that they, you got taller bump-ons for the back to give it some angle because remember how i was saying about you if you could grab those aluminum feet yeah the, that's nice at least you got thick boy bump ons for the back how are you till technic good to see you uh this is he bought it i want to say he bought this uh he bought this off mech market i think it was from the recent group by though i believe so i had one from the group by prior to that so uh I mean, I guess there's not really much of a difference between any of them. They're all the same. 
I don't remember if mine had four holes here. I know I had two holes for feet because I actually bought the aluminum feet for mine. <laughs> yeah, I wish this was the carbon fiber one too. Yeah, everyone in chat saw fucking flexed. He flexed hard. He bought the stainless steel and carbon fiber. Rukia. Ooh. Ooh, I cannot fucking wait to build that thing. Like, that's going to be... I guess I don't have to unplug it from the board. That's going to be like this thing. You know what I mean? That thing's going to be insane. This is the Osa. I'm sure if you guys have been in the stream, you've seen this guy. Osa, 5 of 20. But that... Oh, my God. That uh, that stainless steel and carbon fiber Rukia is going to be nuts. It's going to be pretty wild. You know what's super convenient? So this thing's mini USB. That's Type C. Boom, look at that. I got another end. We're in there, boys. We're in there. Solid. You're in for the bit frost one of the of these guys. I think he was looking at well, he bought one in the recent group by two. I think. Yeah, Saul just went crazy. He was like me. He just bought a bunch of keyboards. <laughs> he just bought a whole bunch. Get those guys out the way. Let's get this case taken apart here. And the flatheads. Yeah. There's a thick flathead in there somewhere. That's not it. Well, I thought there was. Maybe this is what I used. Yeah, this is what I used. Ba -ba. Matt White. Yeah, okay. So you bought... Oh, wait. So it's all white. That'll be cool. That'll be kind of cool. But you're getting the Rukia, so you're just going to end up selling all these anyways. You're just going to use this for a while. I assume, at least. You'll probably use this to decide, holy shit, this layout's amazing. And then, uh... Bro, that Rukia is gonna come in. That Rukia is gonna be nuts, dude. I loved mine. I had the, the polycarb with the brass weight, and... Whew, that thing was beautiful. Such an amazing board. Such an amazing board. I'll have I was, I'm thinking about buying another Rukia since the group buys open. I just don't know. I want to get that. I, I talked to Grumpy Bunnies, chatted a few times. I may or may not try and well, I chatted with them about getting a, a, a prototype. So if that works out of the unit zero or unit one, whatever that one was called, the one that can flip it and do either one of the PCBs. I think it's called the unit zero. Uh, if I get a prototype of one of those, then I don't need to have two polycarb analysis. You know what I mean? Jacob, what's up, brother? Thanks for the sub. One layer. Boom. What are you up to, Jacoby? Jacob's one of the local buddies. I'm actually be building a board for him relatively soon. Um, Sunday, I think. I think he's on the on the list for Sunday. As long as all goes planned with his uh, stuff showing up. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to keep these in order. We got one. We got layer one. Layer two. Reasoning is the top layer is the the second layer has holes for the LEDs to sit into. The top layer is not, so it's diffusion. If you guys can see that. Top layer doesn't have holes. Second layer got holes. Boom. And we should be on the plate. This thing's actually kind of nice, man. The plates are... Whew. 
What's going on, Multiverse? How are you today? Good to see you in chat. You having a good week so far? I guess it's the end of the week now, but... These plates are thick, boy. There you go. So I don't need to take the bottom off. Leave this guy. Okay. Stacking all these together so I know how they go back. Perfect. And the plates. Look how thick this is, man. That's a chonky boy. What day is it? <laughs> it's Friday, brother. Friday. So, uh, Saul, I know you're here, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I didn't ask you about layout, brother. I just... I assume you want full backspace. If not, I can take that one off. If you want full shift, so basically I have it set up this layout. Split right shift, full backspace, 1 UFN, which gives you the 2.25 spacebar. You have all the keys to do all this. What's Gucci? <laughs> Steven, how are you, brother? <laughs> Due to Corona, every day is day now. <laughs> yeah, it's just day. That's true. That's true. See, we haven't been quarantined yet. At least not where I'm at. So we're still rolling, man. I'm working every day. Up till today. I had today I had off, so that's good. Are oh, you at work? See, see. He, uh, Stephen works with me. He understands. He's at work. He knows. When are you gonna get you a nice board, Stephen? Quit your BSing, bro. We're kind of quarantined. Not really. <laughs> so, so, yeah, this is fine. This layout's good. You want to do... Basically, it's this layout right here that I have. And I can do stepped or full caps, whichever you'd prefer. I run, st I run stepped caps, but it's just preference. Full preference. Yeah, Jacob. <laughs> Social distancing, boys. We're doing full backspace on the Polaris, Jacob? That is fucking awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Honestly, I thought you were going to have me do split backspace. Uh, I really figured you would. That's fucking dope. I'm so glad. I already have a key set that I had planning to put on that. I don't know if I told you yet, but don't spoil it if I did tell you. Don't put it in the chat yet. So Sunday's build stream is going to be a Polaris, guys. That'll be announced on my Instagram here in a bit, so I'm not worried about saying that. But I do have a nice keycap set, the surprise, little, nice little surprise keycap set I'm going to open up. We're going to show that guy off and put it on the Polaris once that's built. Yeah, full backspace for life, dude. I can't use split backspace. Not for me. Not for me. Now we got some, I forget what these were lubed with, Saul, what was it, 3203, 3204, you So what's cool about these is all the stabilized keys in, in this plate, look how much room there is on this plate, they just go right over it. Which is good because there's no stabilizer. Like sometimes plates are really tight, you know, get a little little noise from the stabilizer being rubbing against the, uh, not rubbing against it, but it's being squeezed by the plate. I've seen that with brass plates before. Set all those guys in. Then we're gonna put corners in, flip it, solder those guys, make it a little easier. You could put an olive on the spacebar. Is it a 
new Nolive, Jacob, or is it broken in? Is it one you've been using? Did he send again? Um, he sent me switches for the TX, if that's maybe what you're asking about. I assume you're just one of Saul's buds. Yeah, I've got them both. I have to lube up some more switches for the, uh, the rest of the switches for the TX, though. I will be getting that done. I'll probably build that, I don't know, very soon. That'll be very soon. Are oh, you trying to get him to buy a PC? Nice. Hey, man, if you play games at all, like if you're playing games on the console or whatever, once you start playing games on a PC, you realize how much better it is, and you won't go back. You'll realize. Let alone all this. Like, keyboards and all that, that's just accessories to the PC. But PC gaming is way better than gaming on a console. I played PlayStation since I was a wee lad, boys. Since I was a young kid. Since PlayStation 1 was announced. Played all of them, all the way up. I've got a PS4 Pro. It's just chilling in its box somewhere. Since I moved. But I used to play the fuck out of that. And then I bought a PC. It's over. I haven't touched the PS4 in a long time. How old am I? 27. I will be 28 this year. Later this year. Pretty old, you know. Pretty old. <laughs> you said, ah, oh, fuck. What do you mean? You can't be that old, brother. 33. Yeah, you're not old, bro. You're not old. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Perfect. Thing is, with this thick boy plate, you got to make sure they're set all the way down. With that thing. They don't necessarily clip all the way in, really. They kind of do, but not like they would on a normal, you know, 1.5 or 1.8 plate. Had three, have four. What you talking about, brother? Had three, had four, what? You confuse me. Oh, kids. Oh. Yeah, I don't have kids yet. Not yet, brother. The wife and I will probably shoot for uh, the end of this year, so I think what we're going for. Or later this year, at least. No, I'm not Russian, man. <laughs> well, we've been together for seven years. We bought a house last year. We bought this house at the end of last year. Uh... It's time, you know. No rush, but... <laughs> Preferably before I turn 30, I want to have a kid, I think. You know what I mean? Phil is 50 with 8 kids. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> you were 27 when you had your seat. That's what I'm thinking, you know. I'm 27. If she gets pregnant this year, I'll be 28 when she has the baby. That'll be good. Look at this, Saul. This thing is beautiful, dude. These things are aesthetic. I like the look of these, you know. That purple PCB sitting under there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's got a bent pan. Straighten that bad boy out. <laughs> See, I have a uh, Project Keyboard PCB and carbon fiber plate coming. The problem is, is I bought that when I had the Rukia. Actually, I might have bought that before I even got the Rukia. Just whenever he was running a group by. That shit was in like December, man. It was like December 12th. I still haven't gotten that PCB. Or plate. Really, I could care less about the PCB. I mean, it'd be nice to have the spare PCB. 
can't use it anything right now. I will use it eventually, but. Be nice to get the carbon fiber plate. That'd be cool. I like to build the carbon fiber plate in the OSA. What color is the housing of this? Of this board? It's just frosted. Yeah, it's going to be clean. It's going to be clean. Jacob actually bought one of these and didn't even build it. I didn't even build the dang thing. It came in. He sold it. I think he had bought something else at the time. He basically was like, saw, bought a board. Before it came in, he bought another board. <laughs> I do that too, though. I can't say anything. Yeah, it'll match his setup nice. That, uh, that desk is super nice. So feel free to post a like a link or Imgur link to your uh, setup if you have one, brother. Show the boys your setup. Oh, that's right, Jacob. You didn't like the layout. So Jacob was one of those people that tried Alice and didn't like it. Or Ergo, I guess you should call it. Ergo layout. Whatever. Didn't care for it. I feel I told him if he tried it for a while he would. But being used to the board he was used to, you can't just automatically, you know, say you like it. I understand. Completely. Is this switch not closed? Why is that not going in there? There we go. Check that out, boys. Yeah, that's clean, dude. That top, dude. Fire. Fire. <clears throat> I think I might do, redo or do a something like that similar top for mine because I want something a little bit deeper. This countertop's pretty deep. But I could deal with it maybe being like six inches deeper. Just for the added space, you know. Did you want stepped caps lock or full caps lock? So, I think I asked, but I don't recall... Go step. Wait. Go step. Step caps lock. Cool. Roger that, brother. Yeah, I like step caps lock myself. <coughs> it is my preference. getting there we got switches in boys let's make sure everything's set down on the plate first the ones that have stabilizers will not touch the plate at all those guys do not matter just got to make sure we get them set down and straight Motherfuck. There we go. Slide that guy back in there. Shit. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do a little trick so we don't lose any switches. There you go. These thick boy plates. Flip on the solder. <clears throat> so what's everybody doing this Friday? Anybody got plans for the weekend other than sitting the fuck home and watching Netflix? You got anything fun you're going to do with the house? Home projects? Ridwing, how are you? Good to see you in chat, my friend. What are you up to this Friday? <clears throat> the quarantine life is real. That's a fact, dude. That's a fact. I don't think I'm going to be able to sit inside for all today, tomorrow, and Sunday, though. I'm doing good, my friend. Waiting on this soldering iron to heat up right here, and I'm going to start putting these switches down. Charging up the RC cars. There we go. Oh, Red Rank, yeah. New York City's been hit super hard. Actually, my buddy that I'm building the board for, that's where he's at, I believe. And, uh, yeah, dude, it's, like, super shut down there, right? That's, like, the hub of Maine, like, where everything's been fucking at the whole time. Man, all you guys, there you go. Oof, you're five minutes. Oof, yeah, that's sketch, dude. Oof. I'll be going to stay with some family, dude. <laughs> be dipping on out of there, my friend. That's upsetting, dude. A little bit. All right, we're going to lose a switch or two here. I'm going to double check this and make sure these are all in. Because fixing that will be a pain in the dick if they're not. At least all the ones that are, you know, can sit down. We are getting there. All right. Maybe this will stay. We're in there, boys. We're in there. Can the Alice PCB? Yeah, uh, as long as it's uh, mini USB. So there's pretty much two Alice layout PCBs. There's the mini USB, and then there is the Type C. The Type C is the one I have in the OSA. This one can only fit the Type C because of the port location. So the mini USB port is actually on the top of the PCB. So the location on the case has to fit that. And then the Type C one is actually on the bottom of the PCB, and it's a thinner port at that, but it's on the bottom. So location of the port on the case is what matters. Yeah, and on top of that, it's fucking beautiful. Dude, I know. I woke up and took my dogs for a walk this morning. Beautiful as fuck outside, dude. I'll probably get, take them for another one. Hopefully they don't hear me saying that so they don't come running. <laughs> The fan, boys. Can't forget the fan. Oh. Oh. 
We'll slide this over here a little bit. Away from the Osa, so I don't get any splatter. Here we go. Where did I get the limo? So I actually got this one um, from Zap. And then I ended up buying a second end because I needed a mini USB and type C. So I just got a matching end for it. So I have both, but I am working with a new cable maker and we will have some stuff in from him very soon. He's going to be, he's making it very, very big name for himself right now. Lux cables. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, he's working with summit cables. Christian was summit, uh, from summit him and, uh, Lux cables are apparently good friends, but, uh, Keep an eye out. We have some big stuff coming this year. Big stuff coming this year in the words of cables at least. It's going to be great. It is going to be awesome. That one though is from Zap. And I do highly recommend Zap as well. Great cables. Can't, can't, uh, can't complain at all. You can even buy DIY kits from Zap so you can make them yourself. Oh yeah, I'll keep you updated on the uh, the cables, my friend. We got big shit coming with that. Big shit coming. Get my corners tacked down here, you know? There we go. Little Bay Putty, how are you? Uh, I don't know why the bot's not working. I gave it permissions. I don't know. I guess I need to redo that thing or something. Cause it's not go it's not working. But we are building a Switch Couture Alice with lewd milky top or milky bottom yellows. Got her on yellows. And purple Duroc stabs. Lube with 205 grade zero. The white aviators are fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. Super clean. Super clean. Yeah, there's a difference between 205 and 205 grade 0. There's also 205 grade 2, 205 grade double zero. There's a few different ones. Uh, if I recall correctly, 205 is a mix of 205 and 104 maybe? Like a specific mix of the two? I have to double check that to be sure. Uh, depends on the application. If, if you're just using straight 205, I think it's a little thicker. So I wouldn't probably use that in switches. On stabilizers, you're fine. You could probably use it on stabs and be, be all right. <clears throat> I mean, I use 205 grade zero on my stabs. Like, that's what these are going to be, these are lubed with. Speaking of which, I did test these stabs already, but we'll test them after. We'll test them after. 
No biggie. Worst case, these things, you can actually take them out while it's built, so no worries. But I did lube them up and test them real quick. Prior to stream. Rolling through them. Hey, we'll build it Sunday, Jacoby. I got a dinner with family tomorrow. But you are on the stream to or Sunday. You can drop it off to me tomorrow. I I can meet you and pick it up from you tomorrow. If you're gonna have it all lube tonight, plan on just sitting down and lube and switches. Ah, oh, you're probably all right. Where'd you get? Where'd you get just two oh five from? So. Oh, Amazon. Okay. Uh, Switch Mod should be restocking if they haven't already. Uh, I think Jacob bought his. Where'd you get yours from, Jacob? Store Uni? The Store Uni stuff seemed a little thick, though. I don't know if it was me or. Because I got some from somebody, and it was... Uh, oh, you got it from Zeal. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you got it here quick. That was what, That's what you were going for. You were trying to have it for Sunday stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your little, your little t tub of 205. That's what I used on these stabs because I don't, I have, I don't even think I have any. There might be like a tiny little drop in the jar that I got from one of my buddies. I'm waiting on a replacement. I did get sh tracking for it, but it hasn't got here yet. I have a big old tub of 205 coming. Like 14 grams. Some shit like that. I don't know how many milliliters that added up to, but I bought it off drop and they sent me the wrong shit. And then I waited like three more months to get the replacement. Yikes. At least I have tracking for it then. Might actually be here today. I don't know. Go check my mail, I guess.
Did you order? Oh, you ordered new inks. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see you, Jacob. No loose leaves at all? You haven't run into one? Hey, there you go. Switch mod. Yep. Dude, you can order a fucking tub. You can order a tub from them. You can order a... T you can order a lot. If they have it in stock. Whenever I run out of the one I just got, I'll do that. Because I'm never going to order through Drop again. I don't care if it was fucking 4 5 10 15 dollars cheaper. I don't give a shit. I'm not buying lube from them because that was some horse shit. It was just a big mix up. They accidentally put the wrong labels on shit or something. Everybody got sent the wrong stuff. Oh, it just shows 205. I'm sure it shows 205 grade zero down in the thing, hopefully. I would assume it does. Down in the description. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, 205 grade zero is a mix of 205 and 105 or 104. Like a certain mix of the two. About halfway done. About halfway done with the solder. You gonna drop that, uh, drop all that off to me tomorrow, Jacob? I'll meet up with you somewhere if you don't want to swing out to the house. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are all these links, brother? What are you doing here? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, they all have the same container? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, that's probably just a stock photo. It's probably just a stock photo that they're using, would be my assumption. And then they, they may uh, mix them, because usually you'll get lube in like a little tub. I don't know if they mix in-house some places or what. As far as grade zero goes, at least.
Yeah, I gotta get the mix ratio. <laughs> if we can get the the exact amount that they do, we're good, bro. We'll just buy it in quantity. Mix it ourselves. <laughs> You're damn right. Can be made by special order. Yeah, yeah. That's probably how it goes. They probably order it that way. They probably order it that way in large quantities and then turn around and put it in little jars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give him a shout, bro. <laughs> See what the real deal is. I think I'm gonna buy one of those little small soldering irons that just plugs into USB. I think it's like the TS100 or something. I think I'm gonna buy one of those. This thing's big and clunky, and the tip's not super fine on it. It works. It's, I mean, it works good. I just feel like maybe there's something a little better. I'm pretty sure this thing came with LEDs too, didn't it? <clears throat> what temps? Uh, the soldering iron? That's at 640. Oh, really, Lube Helios? I thought, I thought you just plugged that thing into a USB plug. I, I could have swore. I mean, even if it has like a little power supply, like a laptop thing, I could, you know... Attach that to the bottom of the desk somewhere. And then just have the cable run up into one of my cable ties. Or my little cable uh, holder there. Boom. Just pull it out. Plug it in. Right? I feel like that would be a little bit more convenient than the big box boy that I got here. This big old thing. You probably can't. Yeah, this big old fucking thing. This thing's older. I've had this for a long minute.
Yeah. I mean, this thing does take a bit more power, I assume. I mean, it is a soldering iron and all, but still. I, that that little one that you see, I feel, I think Jay has one from Top Clack. I'm pretty sure he's got one. I think that's the first place I saw it. A little small guy. You just plug it in on the end. Boom. Looks like a standard uh, mini USB. Actually, it's micro USB, I think. It looked like micro USB. Yeah, okay, so you have the same thing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it works pretty well then, I assume. Isn't it like 100 bucks or some shit? It's definitely probably worth the investment. I mean, that one was probably like... I don't know, I've had that forever. I don't know. Ah, oh, the good recommended piece. So that's the main factor in that little guy is the power supply for it. As long as you have the good power supply, you, you're good. You get the cheap shit power supply, you ain't getting sh jack shit done with it, huh? All right, row four, boys. We're on row four. We're almost done with this. We'll flip it over. We'll test all the switches, and then we will solder in some LEDs. I'm 99% sure... There were three LEDs in a bag somewhere in here. Pretty sure. Pay 80 for the power supply. I'm sure there's a little, there's a little uh, hobby shop around here that's got that kind of stuff. I know there is. There's just a power supply that was 80 bucks though. And then you bought the other thing? Oh, the whole thing. Oh shit, so if you get the power supply and the good thing that's like 80 bucks, hell yeah, that's worth it for sure. 70, 80 bucks, or 100, even 100 bucks, shit. I thought it was 100 bucks for some reason. Yeah, I'll probably have to snag me one of those. Just because this big old clunky one. I've had it forever. I feel like I could upgrade. I need to get a desoldering gun. It's just those things are so fucking expensive. And the hand pump works good if you use it right. It leaves a fucking blister on my hand right there every time though. You can almost see where the blister's at every time right there. <laughs> That's from doing a whole board. Whole board. It's good to see you in chat though, Lupilius. How the heck are you? How the heck is everybody? Fucking quarantined. We all gotta find something to do inside of our fucking house. My animals are going nuts. And driving me nuts at the same time. <laughs> haven't got the virus yet. Oh, you're running. A, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Where are you at, though? Are you in one of the major states where shit's gotten crazy? Hopefully not in, like, shit. Saul's in New York, man. Few people in here from New York. You guys are in the epicenter of that shit. Oh, the Netherlands. You're out there, brother. I feel like you told me that before and I forgot about it. 
Is it bad out there though? Has it really uh, affected any? Has it majorly affected you guys out there? Bottom row. We gotta be careful on this. We gotta make sure we get the space bars good. Damn. A few hundred. Oof, a couple hundred's pretty rough though. It says the climax is gonna be in May. What? I don't know. I feel like they just need to do a shutdown continent-wide here. Whole U.S. needs to shut down for two weeks. I mean, it'll suck. But it's our only... I mean, it's the only way to stop it, right? One of your workers had it. So she healed up fine then, huh? And uh, Bay Putty, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Switch mod. He just posted a link a bit, uh, just a bit ago in chat. Scroll up a bit and there should be a link there. Uh, you can find lube at switchmod.net. Not sponsored by Switchmod, by the way. So I have no link. But I do recommend uh, lube from them. You don't put enough solder on a switch if you go to desolder it is a pain in the ass so you gotta do a little make sure you get a little cone on there you know
go. Look at that, boys. Let's check it, make sure we didn't miss any pins here. Looks like we got them all, boys. We're in there. Roger that. Oof. From Switch Mod, Lupilius? That sucks. Lube all in the bag. That's a yikes, dude. Okay, we're going to test this PCB here, boys. Look at that. We got lights. Boom. Uh, let's open this guy. Oh. Turn the sound off here. Why isn't two working? I did solder caps lock, right? We may just have to program caps lock over into the other slot, I guess. <clears throat> Windows, shifts, good, shifts, good. Should be function. Yep. Oh yeah, two two doesn't work. I gotta solder two. I don't. Everything else works. I guess I just need to reflow two. Yeah, it's probably from the plane. Since you're in the Netherlands. Alright, let's try that one more time. Why 
Horizon 2 working? Alright, well, we're gonna pop that switch out there. Oh, I re never mind. Should be good. Should be good. We're in there, boys. Let's check for some straightness on these here keycaps. <clears throat> and we're going to put some LEDs. Actually, let me see if I can find this bag of LEDs. Pretty sure there was some. I guess we should see if these are all the same color. I don't know why I unplugged this. I assume you want the LEDs in there, so. Yeah. These are your indicator LEDs. So caps lock, scroll lock, and um, num lock. Sorry. It's going to be your locks. Gotcha, brother. We'll slap them in there real quick. I got them on mine. You can't. Oh, yeah, it's not plugged in, obviously. Duh. So I'm pretty sure I've got a wire. You sent me enough 2U stabs to do the TX. I'm pretty sure I've got a wire to take one of these 2Us. 
make it into a 625 for you for the space bar. About 99% sure I'll have a double check here in a bit. We'll add the last one in there real quick. <clears throat> you got what here? Oh, oh, okay. It's all good, brother. It's all good. I'm pretty sure I got a wire. got LEDs. Perfect. Now let's check for some straightness real quick before we slide this guy together. So here, look, so this is the, the space bar kit I was talking about. Boom, right here, all these and these. That's that space bar kit I was telling you about. It's the same colors as retro. Boom, so we'll have this guy and this guy. Voila. Yeah, I'm putting these on upside down. That's how we do things around here, brothers. Okay. Um, I just need to check straightness real quick. And then we'll put this guy together. Oh yeah, retro is nice, dude. This was my set, and then I sold it to Jesse, and then you bought it from Jesse.
<laughs> oh, what am I doing with this shit? I meant to grab the enter. But I do want to put this enter on there. You know what? I'm all right at this. I tell you what. Look at that. Look how straight that inner is. And the thing is, is like the plate doesn't even touch it. So like, how did how did I manage to get that so straight? I don't know if you can tell that on camera, but it's like. Do you? GG boys. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna have to take these off. To put the case together. What am I doing? I got my switch puller, my key cap puller right here. I'm a natural. <laughs> we'll go with that, brother. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Set these over here real quick while we slide the case together. Alright. Bottom case. I kind of wish they would have gave you a third of the big bump-ons to put right in the center. You know what I mean? Got to line it up under these little pillars here. We're in there, boys. That was easy, dude. Cake. Cake. Mix on dick. How are the fuck are you, my friend? It's good to see you in chat. What's up? Who is it? Chewy or uh, Osiris? Who are we chatting with today? Chewy. What's up, my brother? How are you? What are you doing this beautiful Friday? <clears throat> yeah, my dude. Bored as fuck. I feel you, dog. That's all it's been, bro. That's all we can do. Be bored as fuck. Bored as fuck. Excuse my language. Half ass. You've been off for a while, haven't you, Chewy? Like a week already. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, top layer. Remember I was saying earlier? 
when I was taking it apart. Top layer. No holes. No holes. And it's orientated. You can tell how the orientation goes due to the flush mount screws are going to be they're going to sit flat in here if you ever take this apart Saul you'll know it's been a hot minute since you've worked <laughs> yeah I feel that bro not me I worked yesterday I've worked every day Monday through Friday at least up until today I got this Friday off Got to get these little tiny screws threaded in right because you don't want to, you don't want to tear up the plastic screws. That's for sure. Or acrylic screws, whatever these are. You don't want to mess them up. Yeah, lucky you though. Not, be, I mean, I guess not lucky because I don't know if you're getting paid while you're not working. I assume, hopefully, you are being in the school system. But I feel like I'd be all right with a little vacation. Let, let me sit at home for a couple days. <laughs> I'd probably be bored of shit after a few days though. I heard, I saw you guys were playing some video games yesterday, or at least I saw you post about it. What'd you guys end up playing? Played some cards against humanity with some of the buddies on Discord yesterday or the other day. That shit was pretty funny. That's the first time I've played that. But you guys were trying to play golf or something, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to play some golf. What's up? Golf with friends. Get on in there now, plastic boy. There we go. Make sure we get it lined up as best as possible here. There we go. We are in there. These clear screws are so hard to see though. My blind ass. Boom. Did you purposely buy purple Duroc stabs, Saul? Because of the purple PCB? Or is that just unintentional worked out well? Boom, boys. The thick boy bump-ons. If you can get another one of these bump-ons, that'd be lit for right in the middle. I feel like it'd be... Let's see. Eh, it's a little flexy. It's not too bad, though. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Now that all the layers are stacked up. It's pretty strong. Yeah, it worked out really well. The stabs and the PCB. <laughs> worked out well, my guy. Put some keycaps on this thing, huh? What do you guys think? Let me slide this thing out of the way. Chewy, you see this? Ooh. Chewy's also another owner of the Osa. 
one of the 20. He is another OSA owner. As well as Osiris from Mix on Deck. He owns one as well. Oh, I don't think that was programmed, right? That's what it was. Didn't. Yeah, because I checked that. Not the program caps lock, which is fine. No one uses caps lock anyways. Ooh, look at that saw. We're getting somewhere. Oh, I turned the lights off. So function and page up and page down are going to go through your modes. So. Put it on this guy. What did I do with the... There we go. I forgot I've had a few keys off on the side already. Yeah, these acrylic houses always come out pretty nice dude. this is like the third one I've built I think I had a matte black one and that's what made me fall in love with the layout and then I got a Rukia and then I got the Osa and hopefully I'll get one of you the unit zero or unit one whatever the the one grumpy bunny's working on I can never remember if it's zero or one oof Jacob yikes the leaf broke completely huh that's pretty wild This one I'm putting caps on. I'm typing shit over here. Halfway done lubing. You're already halfway done lubing? You fucking you got your switches like 30 minutes ago. The hell? What do heck? I think the white's gonna look good if you do the right keycaps on it. Like those, the white with botanical on it, or even white on black, or minimal. Oof. See, I did white on black on the matte black, Alice. And if you did the all white one with minimal, the opposite of white on black, that would be super clean. At least I would say, I would think so. But you're planning on getting rid of that anyways, because you've got the Rukia coming. So, eh, either way. You know? Solid... You ain't no slow boy. <laughs> You're knocking them out, brother. Knocking them out. Saul, do you hit B with your left hand or your right hand? Left finger, or left finger, or right finger? Left, cool. Perfect, perfect. Me too.
There's a function key, right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what to put for this B. So you hit B with your right hand. Well, there's B on both sides on an Alice layout. You got B on this side and on this side. What do you want? What do you want? What you want? Come here. You being lazy? Hey, give me a hug. Come here. You're not going to do it? <laughs> give me a hug. <laughs> Go on. Go on somewhere. I'll take your ass somewhere. <laughs> Um, you didn't realize that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two B's on an Alice layout. Because some people hit B with their right hand, some people hit B with their left hand. That's why these days when you buy a keycap set, you'll get, if you buy the spacebar set, the split spacebars, you'll get two B's. This is Hamon. The B came in the 40s kit with this. But I've got base kit, Peta Negra kit, Hamonalty's kit, and 40s kit. And the matching cable and the matching desk pad because that's probably one of my favorite sets. That and camping are two of my tops for sure. Can I see him back here? I should go to this side. <laughs> Don't we need him in stream the whole time? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Should we go two? I usually do two if I don't have a spare B. We'll put that on there and then you can change it if you'd like to. I'm sending you this whole keycap set, so you'll have it. Uh, I do want to do the correct profile page up and page down, though, if I have those. Yes. So, ooh. Where can you get a matching B? Um, there was a sale called the Bees or something, something like that. And they did like a color matches of a bunch of them, I think. <clears throat> I'm gonna go put the dogs outside. Give me one sec, boys. I'll be right back. We back. We back. Look at that, dude. That is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought 
Ah. Something changes. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Alright. Thing came out pretty good, so I'm digging it. Came out pretty damn good. You guys want to see a typing test? Here, we'll get a little audio for you guys first. Here's the stabs. Sounds pretty damn good, I'd say. Pretty damn good. I should have muted music for that. Do that again. sound good those sound good You guys want to get a little typing test in? Clean up a little bit of this mess here. this goes oof oof That was terrible. Terrible. The typing angle on this is so much lower than my OSA. It's like I gotta hold my wrists a little bit differently. <laughs>
terrible. What happened? Why am I doing so bad? <clears throat> Wait, what? I missed a word? Terrible. <laughs> it's definitely the angle. No, it's definitely not the angle. I'm just terrible. <laughs> and yeah, the legs will be a little bit taller. They'll probably make it about... There you, about a seven degree angle or something. This is like five. This is, this is pretty low. Oof. I'm terrible, man. Uh, the Osa, I think that's it's probably six or seven, but it's also thicker. It's taller, like it sits up a bit higher. You know what I mean? It's probably six though, six or seven. Yeah, you'll. Uh... Didn't you order feet though? Actually, you got feet with your. Uh, what the hell did you order? Your tofu or something? You can probably put those feet on this if you really wanted to. They'd probably work on here. This thing would be clean with DMG. That keycap set you were talking about yesterday, this would be clean with DMG on it. Let's get a couple more typing tests in here. See how this goes. Maybe I can break 90 at least. Oh, shit. My best is 107. I haven't broke 107 yet. Eventually. Broken. And Mark. Thank you guys for following, by the way. Sorry, I just now saw that. Thank you guys for the follow. Hope you guys are doing good. Having a good Friday. <clears throat> Anyone doing anything other than sitting inside all weekend? Uh, this is typings.gg, Saul. So I use typings.gg. You can change the theme on it. You won't be able to see this on there, probably. Oh, you might be able to see this on there. Uh, so you can change the theme on it. It's pretty litty. Like if I wanted to change to this one. 
Boom. <clears throat> I just use the white one because it blends in good. I think it's this one. <clears throat> That's the one I just had. Maybe it was that one. I don't know. Either way. No, I don't like this one. I can't see it as good. There we go. Or it's too close to me. How did you go from 92 to 71? Still didn't break 100. Damn it, boys. Still didn't break 100. <laughs> This thing is pretty nice though. I dig it. It came out pretty solid. I think you'd like it if you put the feet on there. Actually, it's not bad like it is. At least it has some angle cuz I couldn't do with mine being flat on the like flat on the desk like it was when I first got it. I had to order those feet. Pretty nice though. The sides are all clear so you can actually see down inside there. It's pretty nifty. Yeah dude, it came together pretty well. I dig it man. I think you're gonna like it. <clears throat> this is a pretty much the exact same thing that made me fall in love with this layout. I got this, and then I was like, oh shit. And then I bought the Rukia. And then I bought the Osa. You already bought the Rukia. You just gotta wait for that bitch to come in. You flex too hard with that damn Rukia, bro. I can't wait to build that thing. Carbon fiber and stainless steel. Or is it hand polished stainless steel, right? Thing's gonna be pretty gnarly. Terrible. Yeah, dude. Sit back and wait's all you can do. But that uh, that Farukia, when it comes in, bro, that thing's gonna be nuts. But I feel you, bro. I'm on the wait list for so many boards right now. You're in my Discord. You can see my group buy list of how many boards and and keycaps I'm waiting on. It's a bit excessive. Quite a few. But anytime. If you guys want to see the next build, not the next build. This isn't the next stream. Next stream Sunday is a uh, Polaris. The next build after that will be this beautiful bad boy though. TX sixty five. Oof, this thing's chunky. I'll wipe it down. It's a bit dirty at the moment. I'll wipe her down though. This thing's gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, Polaris will be sick. That'll be Sunday. I'm pretty stoked about that. That'll be a fun build. <clears throat> this thing's fucking beefy, though, man. It is a chonky-ass 
I don't know how much it weighs, but man, it's hefty. It's going to be a fun build, too. That one's going to be fun. This board's a chunker, though, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, so it's a hefty boy. It is hefty. I dig it, though. I can dig it. Take this in. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in today. Glad everyone is doing good. Everyone's staying safe, washing your hands and all that good shit. Probably most of us are stuck at home, or most of you guys. I'm not stuck at home quite yet. Almost, but not quite yet. Well, yeah, this thing came out pretty solid. I like it. I think you're gonna enjoy it, Saul. It's gonna make you. Uh, it's gonna make you, fucking, just so amped for that Rukia, dude. Like you're gonna get used to using this, and then you're just gonna. It's that weight's gonna get even harder, man. It's gonna be e get even harder. <laughs> they already sold out, right? They sold all the. Uh, all the. Uh, special edition Rukias. Oh, you can still buy it, but with an aluminum plate. Oof. There's only 30 of these. There's only two left. That means 28 have sold. Those things are going to be so nice, dude. Yeah, you got the last carbon one. Nice. What a flex, dude. I don't know if I... I guess I would get Rukia across the bottom. Is that what you were thinking about doing? Since it says you can do custom engraving. You going to put Rukia on there? That'll be solid, dude. That'll be clean as shit. Yeah, there you go. They sent you a... Did they send you like a list of what they could do? Or did they just send you like... Tell us what you want. Damn, 25 switches left, Jacob. Okay, I guess you don't need that many for the Polaris, right? You need... That's a 60%. So you probably only need like 61 switches. Actually, you probably need 61 because it being wind keyless. Can you sweet you want to drop it off today? Nah, maybe. I don't know. Shoot me a text. We'll see. Depends on what time it is. You're talking about swinging by here before you go to Nashville? Yeah, you can drop it off here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can drop it off to me before you go to Nashville. Yeah, that's fine. Make sure you have everything, though, like all your, don't forget stuff, your stabs and yada yada. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, your stabs. I don't have your stabs, right? Um, all that goods. All your goods. That's cool. Just shoot me a text before you swing by. Make sure I'm here. I don't see me going anywhere other than walking the dogs, but I'll probably go do that in a bit. Well, shit, I guess I'm going to get on out of here. I appreciate everyone stopping in today. Thank you, guys. It means a lot that you guys are still swinging by, saying what's up, supporting the uh, stream with everything that's going on right now. I appreciate everyone. I hope everyone has a good weekend. I will be back Sunday at noon. We're going to build the Polaris. That'll be a 
pretty badass build. I'm pretty excited about that, so stay tuned for that. It'll be at noon. I'll start the countdown a little ahead of time as far as the, um, I'll start the stream starting soon, probably a few minutes prior, and then we'll go live at noon, and we'll have that build rocking. Hope the rest of you guys have a good weekend. Appreciate you all stopping in again. Let's see, is anybody live? Can we raid somebody? Anyone live right now? Mm -mm. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, Nathan's live. I guess we can raid Nathan. Let's see. What do I do? Raid. Nope. That's not right. <laughs> I did it backwards. All right, guys. I appreciate everyone stopping in again. Much love, everyone. Stay safe out there. Wash your fucking hands.